My first musical memory is actually funny. My mom was a, uh, an avid, avid disco fan, depressingly enough. <laughs> My mom had stacks of uh, like village people vinyl and shit like that. But that was counterbalanced by the fact that my, my grandmother was like kind of a hardcore like honky tonk chick, you know, like your Johnny Cash, um, Glenn Campbell, stuff like that, you know, uh, George Jones, big time. It was a weird combination of gritty country music, shoot you then drink some whiskey, balanced by polyester nightmares. My babysitters turned me on to Stuff like, you know, Black Flag, uh, Sex Pistols, and then MTV hit. That kind of got me to where I was discovering my own music, which really kind of hit in like 85, 86 when I found Metallica and Slayer and, and Megadeth and Anthrax. It's been a weird musical journey for me, to say the least, going from shot a man in Reno just to watch him die to fuck it all and fuck it no regrets, you know? But my attitude towards music has always been, if you're completely one-sided, then your music's gonna be one-sided. You have to see it on a level playing field and see all the, the different opportunities or you know things that you could do. Because I grew up like that, it, it, it made me open to so many different options, and I'm, I'm kinda glad I did.